Hello, I'm Alexia Maria Orwella, reporting for Hollywood Connection with the Don Rui Show on Tantalk Radio. And I'm here with the writer-director. Sri Charan. And he actually has a film here in the festival. So could you tell us your name of your film and a little bit about it? Yes, um, the film is called Akash. And um, it's a 17-minute short film. It's been accepted um, uh, worldwide in several different festivals. And um, the backstory of Akash, briefly, um, I don't know how much I t uh, time I have, but um, <laughs> I'll try to uh, keep it brief. I'm not very good at brevity. Um, so I started a foundation last year. It's called Clean Slate Foundation. And uh, what I do is I uh, go to countries like India um, and um, work with children that are out of school. Um, they might be out of school for several different reasons. And uh, just sit down and listen to their stories and convert their life stories into screenplays and make films out of them. And the money I raise for the films, I use to put them back in school. And uh, Akash happened to be the first film that uh, came out of my uh, foundation, or the clean slate oven, as I call it. And um, it's been a great journey since then. And uh, it got, uh, it won a grant from Sony Pictures. and. Uh, yeah, the rest is history. <laughs> That's a really good thing that you're doing for the kids and everything. So where did you get inspired to do such a good thing? Um, a, a few things. Um, my two main passions in life has always been film and the community work. I used to volunteer a lot in L.A. And um, also I kind of come from uh, a similar background because uh, I was born and raised in India. Um, and I don't come from an affluent background at all. <laughs> so uh, when I was a child, I kind of had a first-hand experience of what it's like to live with these children and uh, really just feel... Um, it's not all about sadness, is what I, what I wanted to show. It, it, they still thrive. It, it, human beings are meant to uh, thrive no matter what the situation is, right? And that's, that's basically what I tried to portray in Akash, and that's, me, that's my inspiration. Is this your first time of the film being shown in the Orlando Film Festival? That is correct. Uh, it's great. Uh, we just flew in. Um, I, came in here, I came here with my friend Leah, uh, who's also a filmmaker. Uh, she just worked on Malala, uh, the new Malala that just came out. Um, we just flew in this noon, and um, everything in Orlando is amazing. I used to live in Tampa, um, basically, so it's kind of like a homecoming for me. Oh, you are? Okay, we're, we're in Tampa. I'm Brandon Florida. Okay. Awesome. I lived in Brandon for like a couple of months back in the day and uh, I used to work on, so I have a master's in engineering as well because I'm Indian. <laughs> and um, I used to work on uh, the highways in Tampa and uh, that's when I used to live here. So it's kind of like a homecoming but I never came back. Um, it's been almost five years since I had left Florida and this is a great reason for me to come back. Welcome back. So if anybody wants to see your film, is there like maybe a link, a website or is it going to be on DVD? Can you explain so maybe they can see it if they're not attending the festival? Yes. Um, unfortunately, I can't put it on um, uh, social media yet uh, because of festival uh, reasons. But uh, you can learn all about my foundation. Um, it's called Clean Slate Foundation. Um, on Facebook, it's cleanslatefoundation.com or uh, Clean Slate Foundation, and uh, it's got a website, cleanslatefoundation.com. And uh, I'm, I'm not very good at uh, social media, but I'll try to put as many updates as I can so people get to learn about it. Um, that's basically it. And there's um, a promo online that I used to raise some funds last year. It's called Clean Slate Project. That's open, um, openly viewable for public on YouTube. Yeah. And is there any advice you'd love to give to um, aspiring filmmakers, um, directors, writers, anyone who want to be in this kind of industry? Um, yeah, I mean, I, just uh, there's no advice that anybody can ever give to you, really. Uh, you got to really listen to your own self, and uh, if somebody tells you a certain thing and it goes against your intuition and you're thinking twice about it, don't do it. Even if, it, if you think that it's going to get you a million dollars, take a step back and think about it because as human beings, everybody is built with a pretty good conscience and a heart. Just listen to that and you'll be fine. <laughs> Well, thank you so much for your time. It was very nice meeting you. Thank you. And stay tuned for more interviews.